Bring Me the Head of Charlie Brown is dark, sinister, creative, pretty enjoyable, and most importantly, in terms of its historical importance, is that it was actually directed and written by Jim Reardon while he was at Cal Arts. Jim Reardon, of course, went on to write a lot of the episodes of The Simpsons, and he was also a co-writer for Wally and Wreck It Ralph and Zootopia and the brilliant um, Ralph Breaks the Internet, for which I have quite a soft spot. But to think that this is the kind of thing he was creating while while studying is quite fun because I'm quite a big fan of Charlie Brown. I'm a new fan of Charlie Brown, but I am binge watching a lot of the old cartoons. So to see them brought to life in this way is peculiar, definitely peculiar. Um, but I really liked it. It's a parody of a lot of the characters of Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin. And sinister things happen. The Great Pumpkin is after Charlie Brown. It becomes very violent. Lucy is wielding a gun at one point, And it does get, get quite dark. It's definitely not for young viewers, that needs to be said. But the characters themselves are very well animated. Jim Reardon clearly has... I'm not sure how much of it he illustrated himself, because there were other people listed as being helping, as being helping, that sentence made no sense. There are other people listed as contributing to this, but I'm going to assume that Jim Reardon drew the majority of this uh, for animation, and the characters look fantastic. You know, the, the mimicry of the, that design is fantastic, and it's really well done. And if you didn't know better, you'd think that this was a rough around the edges early version of a Peanuts cartoon. It does look great. Um, it's a little choppy in spaces, um, maybe a little rushed here and there, but generally I think it's a, a very creepy narrative about some really beloved characters and what happens at the very end with other characters that are brought in. I won't say any more than that because I don't want to ruin it, um, but the other characters that were brought in I thought were... it was a brilliant decision and really just kind of really nicely rounded everything off and I had a lot of fun watching it. If you've never seen Charlie Brown, I don't recommend it until you've watched Charlie Brown, but I do recommend Charlie Brown in general. And if you've seen Charlie Brown and you're a fan of Jim Reardon's other works, I think you'll love this. Both with its, obviously, historical significance of Jim Reardon's early works, and both as a, a fun, slightly more adult parody uh, of Charlie Brown. I uh, really enjoyed it. Wasn't sure what to expect from it when I started watching it, but actually... Bring Me the Head of Charlie Brown is something that I definitely recommend.